Well, that was the last one. Pretty quiet week for industry news. Nothing real crazy other than Disney being crazy. With their D23 we extravaganza. Have, have Disney Con. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's It's crazy how much this stuff has grown, you know? Like, it just used to be Comic-Con and... Maybe movies would get announced during Comic Con, like mm-hmm. some more niche stuff, and now it's just grown into like an industry event for like movies, and then all of those studios now are like, we'll have Warner Bros. Con or <laughs> DC Land, and it's this yeah. stuff. Always, this it just has gotten weird to me. Okay, well, they didn't announce anything for the next year. No, there. this is all twenty twenty late twenty twenty three and mostly twenty twenty four titles. Right, things to look forward to. Their quote unquote original content, their new original anime movies. Uh, they announced like a few new ones uh, during their D twenty three announcements. Should we go over them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for the most part, they did at this point in time say that a lot of these titles are theatrical releases. Which yay. That's good. On okay. That. We have a few question marks, but for the most part, we can get excited and look forward to these as theatrical releases. And I feel like that was the biggest news. Like, oh, yeah. But I but I don't trust Disney because they do do this bait and switch where they're like, we're going to put this in theatrical. And then a month before or a couple weeks before, they're like, never mind, Disney Plus only. Mm-hmm. And they've done that to us a few times. They let you think that it's going to be theatrical. The theaters go out. They show trailers. They get people excited. They get all this publicity and marketing. And then they're like, never mind. Turning, <laughs> turning red has Cody seeing red. It wasn't a Luca. It did. Yeah. It, I mean, it was a couple titles. It, yeah, they did it to was, us twice. But that was the one that really oh, irked people. Was yeah. turning red because. At, at the point where I told everybody, do not promote Lightyear until we know for sure it's going to be in theaters. Little did we know there was another issue with Lightyear altogether. (laughs) But at the time, I was like, do not promote this until I know that it's going to be in the theater because (laughs) Disney doesn't need to get free marketing out of it, uh, out of us. All right. Well, Kyle, run through these real quick so we can get Disney out of the way for today. Yeah. um, So they announced, you know, some of their remakes that they're going to be doing, their live-action remakes, such as the new Snow White movie, which is now slated for March 22nd, 2024. Uh, You didn't even put Little Mermaid on here. That wasn't one of the new ones that they they, announced. Well, That one's coming out in 2023, though, right? Yes, but they did show a trailer, and they did drop that, you know, really cute clip of her singing. Sure. Okay. Well. Is it really cute? It was really cute. Okay, actually. really cute. She has a beautiful voice. Yeah, she did sound really good. I forget mm-hmm. the actress's name, but yeah, Hall- she Hall- sounded amazing. Hallie something. Hallie? I don't know. I can look it up because I need to look up She's the release date for and that Chloe? anyway. She's part of Hallie and. Oh, the One music. Half- the oh the music God. duo there's yeah. a music duo oh yeah <laughs> keep up ken with yeah, the God. current oh trends come on now get, uh, get into what the kids are into these days as we're, as we're gonna talk about brendan frazier later <laughs> yeah, let's, let's keep it current guys come on man <laughs> uh yeah that little mermaid remake is coming out may 26 2023 uh so that's also something mm. big um and then there's also a mufasa movie a mufasa prequel movie uh, that's going to do like the same CGI Pre-fasa. live action. <laughs> oh, they missed an opportunity. Is, B-fasa. is James B-fasa. Earl Jones going to be the voice on the end of it? Ken and I were talking about that before the show. And we decided that the first step Disney has to do when this goes into production is immediately um, record his dialogue. It doesn't matter if this movie even happens or not. But you we can't. just need to get it done. They just need to have James Earl Jones record lots and lots of dialogue of yeah. random things. Right. Yeah, but you can't. Maybe even let some Star Wars lines in there because don't he, he's him. getting up there in age. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, they did no. this with the last Lion King. Yeah. That was the first part of production was recording James Earl Jones right. when they thought they might do it. Yeah. And we're four years down the road. <laughs> we really got to get on or this. More. Yeah. But, but we can't have someone else play Mufasa. We're replacing everybody. We replaced well, Buzz Lightyear for crying out loud. You gotta let that we one can... go. <laughs> <laughs> if we no, it didn't work. If it's, <laughs> if yeah, it's that's what it was. <laughs> then wouldn't it be a young? So well, should <gasps> should we get Jonathan Taylor Thomas to play yeah. Mufasa? Yeah, 
Bring him back into the fold. No, because he played. Why couldn't Mufasa? Because he played baby. Yeah. Uh, he played Simba. Simba. Yeah. What well, I know, he played baby Simba. Why couldn't he play young teenage child Mufasa? I'm assuming like, if he, they if wouldn't we, have a similar I'm voice. I'm assuming with the deep voice of James Earl Jones, he's fathered somewhere between three and five hundred children. So one of them could easily do it. Yes, but they have okay. to have carry the same genes as James Earl Jones. There's a very distinct there's several very distinct differences between Jonathan Taylor Thomas and James Earl Jones. The biggest of which is the freaking voice, Cody. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw if it was a young no. Yun Mufasa. Move on before you ruin this Bring movie my more JTT than Disney's back. Going I, don't, to. I don't know. I mean, Let's be real. Like when you watched the original movie, didn't you always think like that was his voice? Like even if he was a teenager, he still probably had the booming voice of every lion there. Even if he was, <laughs> if James Earl Jones was literally a lion, that's yeah. his voice. Yeah. Even if he can't talk as a lion, he talks like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he would sound. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Fine. I just was trying to bring my JTT back. Let's have Jonathan Taylor Thomas be <laughs> Anakin Skywalker. Relevant I'd again. Be fine. <laughs> That'd be fine. He could be a, he could be a Jedi. Maybe he could be the gray Jedi. Ooh, mysterious. Actually, I kind of like that too. Oh my uh, god. Ooh, ooh. We anyway. can't bring everyone back. We'll talk about this later too. Um, did I say even say what the release date for this movie was? Um, Mufasa, The Lion King coming out July 5th, 2024. Perfect timing. Uh, Good summer release. And Excellent. Then, and then one movie that I can't believe is being real is being a remake of The Haunted Mansion. That's supposed <laughs> to come out August 11th, 2023. I'm a bit skeptical that that will be a theatrical release, but... No, this sounds like straight to Disney Plus. Yeah. If they're not releasing Hocus Pocus two in theaters, yeah, which is shocking. Which is shocking. This it is, is our definitely one of our most to. requested Halloween titles, and we every year have to be like, no, it's Disney. You can't no, have it's the Disney. You, you can't, can't have, have it. You can't do this. You can't. And then they go right to Disney Plus with it. It's like, come on, come on, Disney. Yeah. I'm just gonna start like sending them. I've got 34 requests this year for this film, and maybe like that'll start putting some pressure to put it back into theaters. We have one. I mean, every theater that we work with would play this film oh my gosh. in October. Yes. They would Amazing. play this over Lyle Lyle, over Halloween, over mm -hmm. Black Adam. They would want a marathon. They would want the original and this one. And they would play them both for the whole month. If Almost. You told them, if you told them it had to play October 1st or 31st, I think there would be some most that of would, them would sign up for it. There would be some that would do it. There are plenty that would sign up for it. So, I mean, we're talking little guys here. Not, yeah. I mean, of well, course, yeah. yeah. But, Give it a screen. But single screen theaters across the country would sign up for four straight weeks of those two films. <laughs> Just for all Halloween. Yeah, easily. Yep. All right. And the one that probably was already announced without being announced was that Rogue Squadron has canceled production or uh, been removed from the no, schedule? just been removed. Removed from the schedule. I think everyone's taking it that this project is canceled, and I've already accepted that this project was canceled two years ago when the director, Patty Jenkins, and Disney admitted they parted ways. So I don't know why there's a small shock about this happening because this when, has felt inevitable. When Wonder Woman 84 came out and fell on its face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this. And she's like, maybe I shouldn't direct anymore. <laughs> 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 this was so bad. She's still a good director. I would have still loved to see this movie. And we need more, well, not more, but we need a Star Wars movie again, I feel like. Yeah. Well, this, we need that Star Wars magic back. The idea of this, I was genuinely mm. excited about. Like the space yeah. battles I, part of Star Wars. Absolutely. I, mean, I Yes, there's plenty of person-to-person -person combat and things like that, mm -hmm. but the idea of like an actual squadron fighting, and that's the movie. I mean, Top Gun Maverick worked. Yeah, I know. This is Space Maverick. Yeah, Star Wars Maverick. Put Bill Pullman's son as like the fourth best pilot. <laughs> who Who is uh that actor now that's also in Top Gun Maverick and the Devotion movie that... um war movie that's coming out later this year any guesses cody i'm trying to i'm spacing on his this. name he could be the lead of rogue squadron like let that be his lane i bet he would do it who says no to star wars <laughs> yeah. i'll try and look up his name now no one says no to star wars no <laughs> come on let's make this project Can still I happen that's no all i'm saying more star wars movies you get out of here no i oh, like your oh, rogue because squadron the last idea. one only made 450 no, million dollars because the last one sucked and they all the it sucked up money out of people's pockets no it ruined it <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> we, just, we just need it to find a way to bring that magic back. Let's forget the bad juju think, that was Rise of Skywalker. That they're capable of having that magic. Like I think that's a problem. Uh, the TV shows haven't really helped. They have kind of diluted it. Yeah. Ruined. Glenn Powell was the name of the guy, by the way. I figured it out. <laughs> it was gonna drive me nuts. That sounds like an old man name. Well, he's sounds, in Top Gun, it so sounds, it sounds like a settler. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like somebody that settled a town. <laughs> Glenn <laughs> Powell. Glenn Powell set up oh. camp here in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> in Powell, he, Texas. He, it was named after himself. <laughs> he also flew an F eighteen. <laughs> Those were the lives they lived. What a time. Uh, anyway, we can move on to the animated stuff. Um, there's an anime movie coming out November 22nd, 2023 called Wish. Uh, so it's going to be in that Thanksgiving time, just like what Disney does with their animated projects. And then they announced two Pixar projects, one being Inside Out 2. That's supposed to be coming out June 14th, 2024. Very cautious. Yay. Super cautious. Super because cautious. Because that was the only one that they didn't blatantly say it was going to be in theaters oh really yeah i didn't see any of the like the footage of it so no that w- they just announced it but gotcha. they didn't say you i think with a lot of the other announcements they were like this will be in theaters this one they held off and i don't know what what disney has done to pixar but they just this one will be in this yeah th- we're gonna have <clears throat> it it's gonna be Excuse exciting me. yeah that sounds about right did it's they do gonna this follow a teenage riley which that makes sense i, like I mean that. Wasn't she a teenager already? She was a preteen. Okay. Ten, this is gonna probably. Be f- no, and I think she was like 12. Like, but <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway. I'm not going to have that battle. Yeah, this is a preteen, 12, maybe 13. But anyway. this is going to be full-on teenager, Riley. Full-on teenager. <sighs> Hormones. Hormone Riley. Anyway. <laughs> it's like, let's move on. Uh, the other Pixar movie was uh, called Ello, which is being released March first 2024 is that the one hello, about hello, the hello. um elements so there was a water character and a fire character no that one's like cave movie where they talk about echoes that one's called elemental that you're thinking of oh. uh i'm looking up here what elo is about uh about a 13 year old dreamer named ellie oh elio excuse me not elo um elio elio is elio, artistic creative Emilio. and an avid indoorsman who finds it hard to fit in Meanwhile, Mom Olga, who runs a top-secret military project, is working to decode a strange signal from outer space. But it's Elio who makes contact, gets beamed into space, and is mistaken for an ambassador for Earth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Space. Okay, cool. Space it's adventure. It's preteens in space. Pixar's good at, well, every type of storytelling, but yeah. they do good space stuff. So, yeah. All right. That sounds awesome. <laughs> and hopefully that's in theaters. I learn something new every day. I'm <laughs> learning on the fly here. <laughs> For the learning ele- pronunciations the on air. That too. <laughs> one that I Hello? that I thought we were talking about. Um, I thought that looked interesting, but I felt the elemental characters looked super similar to the Inside Out emotion characters. Sure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like instead of him just having fire come out the top of his head, they're like, "We'll make this one all fire, <laughs> and it'll be the fire element." It's different, but. But their also faces familiar. look exactly the same. Yeah. I'm, I'm now curious when that one's coming out. June 16th, 2023. Nice. Hopefully. All right. With a big some, asterisk to it. We're going to have some good titles next year. I yeah. Think. On I top think... of like their Marvel stuff as well and yeah. Little Mermaid, which um, we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Fast and the Furious 42. Jurassic World Redux. <laughs> <laughs> We've got lots of... Lots of those in the pipeline already. So yeah. just Disney, please don't just just stick with it. Just keep these in theaters. <laughs> this will all work right. out you for know, everyone. You know, deep down, deep deep down, that you need to keep it in theaters. Just mm-hmm. push the shareholders away and just be like, no, in theaters. <laughs> this is what's right. Yes, that's what. One of no the shareholders. Publicly yeah. owned companies in the world is going to do. Yeah, the biggest media a, company in the world. Take a giant dump on their shareholders. Yes. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said gently just push him back Close be like door. i need mm-hmm. some space to make decisions that's nice that's nice that's nice yeah we are Close a media company we need to keep theaters in business <laughs> 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 